Hello from the National Weather Service in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria. Let's take a look at the weather here for the week ahead. Here are the highlights. Dangerous surf is impacting our coastline and that will continue through Tuesday. Then we're talking about building heat inland, especially across the deserts Tuesday and Wednesday. And then watching monsoonal moisture surging into the desert southwest, especially late this week. So let's take a look here briefly with the dangerous surf. It's caused by a southern hemisphere swell and that moved all the way up and now hitting the Southern California coast. Breaking wave heights will be six to nine feet, even 10 feet or greater at places like the Wedge in Newport Beach. This rough surf will cause strong rip currents and longshore currents, so if you must swim, do so in front of a lifeguard. And this surf event will last through Tuesday before the swell subsides on Wednesday. Next item to discuss is the desert heat building, and that heat will peak Tuesday and Wednesday with a moderate heat risk. Here we're looking at the graphic for Wednesday across the high deserts as well as the low deserts, and here you can read what the moderate heat risk uh, is defined as. Uh, take precautions, especially those sensitive to heat. Definitely stay in air conditioning. That's a good idea all summer long in the deserts. And here you can see our current high temps are in the lower one teens for the lower deserts and about 100 degrees for the high deserts. And that heat again peaks Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we get some cooling, but it becomes more humid late in the week because we're watching monsoonal moisture. Here is a satellite perspective to discuss what we're looking at. And this is a highly unusual pattern for early to the middle part of June. Uh, usually monsoonal moisture surges into the desert southwest, holds off until July. But not this year, we're looking at tropical moisture poised to move northward. So what we have in the eastern tropical Pacific is weakening Arletta, and behind Arletta is Bud, which the National Hurricane Center forecasts to strengthen into a hurricane. Global models show moisture from Bud as Bud weakens nearing the Baja, getting drawn northward and moving into the desert southwest. Now what will happen is an upper level trough will be diving down across the U.S. west coast uh, late this week. And that will dictate exactly where the brunt of this tropical monsoonal moisture enters into. Right now, consensus uh, looks to favor Arizona, and climatologically, that's what we would expect. Here in Southern California, we will be on the western fringe, but it's definitely something that has our eye, as it could bring the first thunderstorm activity to our mountains and deserts and possible dust storms. So we're keeping a close eye on this pattern. And here's the American model showing total atmospheric moisture surging into the Arizona region. But watch late in the week. This is the deeper moisture that this model run shows moving into Arizona with Southern California on the periphery. But there are some runs that actually bend this moisture back a little bit further to the west. And then other runs take it further to the east. It's all going to depend on where the trough sets up late this week. So we'll keep you updated. This would be highly unusual for June, but it is a possibility and something we are watching. So looking at impact timeline for the week, surfs up now and that continues through Tuesday. Then again, that desert heat during the middle part of the week peaking on Wednesday with those lower one teens in the Coachella Valley. And then late this week, we're watching for that monsoonal moisture with risk of mountain desert thunderstorms and dust storms as well as flash flooding. But that is very low confidence at this point. Again, we're watching that moisture plume and it's just a very high degree of uncertainty. But just providing a heads up that it's something we are monitoring. Thank you for watching this weather briefing. As always, stay updated with the latest forecasts at weather.gov. Have a great one.